Today's video is a request from one of my viewers. We're going to be setting up Home Assistant Core along with DuckDNS on a Raspberry Pi. Home Assistant is an open source smart home system for running automations and all sorts of stuff for your home. I'll leave a link for more details in the description below. So let's get to it. First, we need to download Raspbian. So Google search Pi OS. And click on the first link. My example here, I'm going to be using Windows. Now run the image installer. Click on install. Leave this box checked and click finish. Go ahead and plug in your SD card if you haven't already. And we're going to choose the OS. It's going to be the first one here. Choose your SD card. And select write. Confirm deleting all the data on your SD card. And the speed of this will vary depending on your hardware. And that's it for the Raspbian installation. Move the SD card to your Pi and you are ready to go. On the Raspberry Pi, first take note of the IP address. And now let's walk through the initial setup. Let's go ahead and click on next. Select your country, language, and time zone. And then select next. Enter a new password for the Pi. And we'll update the Pi later on in the command line so we can skip the updating here and then click on done. And now we need to enable SSH. Go ahead and click on the Raspberry Pi icon. Go down to preferences and then Raspberry Pi configuration. Interfaces and enable SSH. And now we can test SSH from our workstation. Username is Pi and the password is the one we just created. And we're in. You can follow the rest of this video either through this SSH connection from your workstation or on the terminal window on the Raspberry Pi itself. Following the instructions from Home Assistant's webpage, Python 3.8 is required. So let's create a little script to install Python. We're going to use Nano to create a bash script. And copy and paste the config from the description and then control X to save it, yes to save, and just hit enter to use the python.sh file name we already set. And now we just need to change the permissions of it. And then now we can run it. Now in the Home Assistant, Following the instructions from the web page, we're going to make another script to install Home Assistant Core. So we're going to type in nano has.sh and then copy the configuration from the description and paste it into the terminal window. Control X, Y to save, yes to use the has.sh file name. And then we'll do the same thing. We need to change permissions of the script. and then we'll run it. Home Assistant's webpage does mention that after running the has command, it could take up to five to 10 minutes for the webpage to respond. So let's see if it's responding. And there it is. Let's move on to configuring DuckDNS. On to DuckDNS.org. Go ahead and get logged in. And once we're logged in, we're gonna create a new subdomain. And now that we have our domain, go ahead and click on install at the top. Select Pi. Now select your new subdomain in the drop down list. And we'll follow these instructions. So back on the Pi. We're going to exit our virtual environment 
and just switch back to our home directory. And now we're going to make a directory called DuckDNS. Change to that directory. I personally don't like using V. I use uh, nano. So we're going to nano this duck.sh. And now copy and paste this line into our putty session. If you're using nano, you're going to hit control X. Yes to save. And then enter to use the same duck.sh file name. And now we just need to make the script executable. And we're going to use our cron tab to schedule the script to phone home every five minutes. So let's open up our cron tab. Again, I'm going to use nano. And then we just need to make a new line with this line here. And then control X. Yes to save. We're going to keep the same file name. Just hit enter. And now let's run our script to make sure it's working. And then cat the log file. You should get an OK response. If you get a KO response, then something is not set up properly. And finally, let's make sure the cron service is running. And that's it. DuckDNS is up. Now we just need to forward the port 8123 in our home router. Now on our home router, I have an ASUS router. So we're going to go over to WAN and then port forwarding. I'm going to add a profile for home assistant. And it's on port 8123. And I'm going to enter the host name or the IP address of the Pi. And then we'll enable port forwarding. And now if we go to our back to our subdomain on the port, we have home assistance web page. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching.